Hey guys, what's up? I'm playing Sam. I always have the volume up too high. Now it's too low, I can barely even hear it. Jeez, man. I'm wasting my time. Alright. I think I'll learn a new opening. Something more solid than this. Whoa, my head, my face is covering the board. But I don't like E45. I, I should like learn a Nidor or something. Just play it well. Instead of like crap. Maybe the time and off. My opponent is thinking. Um, alright. This line is a little dangerous for me if I don't know the lines. I used to know it like really well, but I'm a little a little more my memory is a little more suspect because I don't I don't play these things as much these days, so it's possible I'll forget something. But I'll do my best to navigate the waters. Uh, if queen d2, I'd take and go b5. This is my line I like to play. Most people don't know it that well, so it's kind of useful. So like, even though I don't remember everything in like great detail, I usually know enough to get by in a blitz game. Hmm. What do I do here? Do I have to go h5? I think I do. It's a pain, but... Because these lines scare me. Whatever, we're going to play like the Soltis variation of the dragon, which is like very theoretical and not, not my cup of tea. I don't like... Usually they don't go h4 and you don't have to deal with this crap, but... Oh. Uh, pawn takes or bishop takes? I'm going to take a pawn, I guess. It's tough to say whether that's the right move or not. I'm going to take this pawn, I guess. Well... Queen a5, I, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna keep taking things. You know, see the thing is in these lines, sometimes I just, the, the theory kills me, and, and I don't get to just play chess, I guess you would call it. It's, it's always unfortunate, because I feel like I'm playing really well, but, uh, you know, I feel like I'm just gonna get crushed somehow. <laughs> Alright, I'm up a bunch of pawns, but my king is like really unsafe. Alright, let's try my best to, to make something happen. It's d5, pawn takes, bishop f5. Why would I do that? c5, threaten c4. It just doesn't look right. I have no idea what to do. Pawn takes pawn feels like it opens too many lines. I, but I have to do something, like bishop e6 maybe? Bishop takes, pawn takes. Ah, goodness. Knight key three, knight of six. E six, queen takes pawn. Looks bad. E five, queen takes pawn. Looks bad. I just have no idea what to do. So I'm talking about. I got these holes in my openings where sometimes I just lose games. It's really annoying. Let's just play something solid, more solid. C5 just looks so wrong. I need to. I'm gonna go rook b8. Why? Why am I going rook b8? Whatever. I am for some reason. Maybe I'll have to sack and exchange someday. I don't know. My idea is a bishop h6. I was going to go e6 and hope for the best. <laughs> um, it doesn't. I mean, bishop h6, e6, even that looks pretty ugly because he has a pawn takes pawn. Maybe I would have to go e5. Let's see, bishop h6, e5, bishop takes, bishop king takes, queen d6, queen g5. Eh, not so bad, actually. I guess I'll go bishop takes. Bishop, yeah, what do I do here? Bishop f3? This line's too complicated for me, man. Bishop h3, rook h3. 
bishop somewhere else. I don't know, man. Bishop e6 looks horrible. Queen d7, I guess. Whatever. <clears throat> Someday I may have to sack on b3 and go like f5. Like, rook h4 is kind of annoying. Like, this is just too much for Blitz for me to defend this crap. A bishop e6 next move. Then he has like rook h5 and, and bishop h6. But then I can go back to g4. Mm, it's not so obvious. Oh, he can. I wish I had more time, but the problem was it was so. I, I knew I didn't know what to do, so I just had to use time. This rook on b8 is kind of useful because in case I'm ever getting crushed, I can go rook takes b3. It wasn't doing much on c8 anymore. Should learn a good line, a good opening. The thing is, most people don't do this, so I, I rarely face it. But when I do against a strong player like this, it can be like just a deadly, deadly thing. I can just get blown off the board. I think I've survived like the worst. I think so. We'll see. If Bishop H six, I mean, I don't know. It still looks ugly, but. But on the other hand, like, what does he do? Like, maybe I'll go e5 then. Oh, what was my plan here? I had one. Bishop e6, right? Bishop e6, rook h5. Then pawn takes with the idea of going back to g4. Oh, no, he has queen g5 at the end. I can't do that. So I have to do something else. Knight f6, bishop h6, bishop h5. Knight f6, bishop. Uh, or whatever. Something looks very, very, very scary here. <laughs> but, like, I feel like I'm gonna... Like, okay, so bishop h5 is my plan. He, If he rook takes, knight takes, rook g6, rook b3 or something. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Hope I survive. Uh, also interesting is rook g6, bishop takes, bishop g7. But I probably have something there, like knight... I don't know. This is an interesting idea, rook g6. I'll go bishop takes, I'll go, okay, he did this instead. Now, I can go knight takes. And if rook g6, rook b3, I couldn't quite find, oh, okay. He has a stupid queen g5 move. Um. So do I go rook b3 immediately? Maybe. I don't know. Uh, he probably had a better move there, but whatever. Uh, I think in these kinds of positions you should just start sacrificing things. I could be wrong though. Uh, oh crap, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I mean, I think bishop g7 is winning, but running out of time. Okay, um, what's my plan here? Knight h5? Doesn't work, right? Okay, let's just do this. Doesn't really help me. Alright, why did I do that? Nobody knows. Stupid opening. That's what happens. This is not going to help me. I just queen h6 immediately or rook h5 first. It's just a, it's just a bad opening to play in Blitz, so it's, unless I know everything perfectly, which I don't, obviously. So bad things happen. Queen h6 looks good. <laughs> it's, eh, it looks less good. It's not like force mate at least. I mean, clearly I'm gonna lose, but I can at least screw around a little bit, make some chess moves. Oh, queen d4 is mate. All right. Um, all right, just an annoying game. You know, I'm just too lazy to learn new openings. You know, somehow I, I feel like here's the problem. What was it? I didn't take. I took him b3, right? The problem was I can't remember the problem. Well, this move I should have thought a little bit harder. The problem is if rook b3, rook g7, and 
and then queen g5. It's just so hard to defend in blitz. Uh, the and wait, so knight takes, rook takes, but still, I should have maybe e6 here, maybe d5. d5 is the same trick. If e6, queen g5, or, no, then I can take on g6. And e6 fails to to this move again. And, and like something like that. Queen h3. Maybe I have to do this. Hmm. This is not so clear. It's probably winning somehow, like queen g5. But it's not so clear. Like like for example, I mean rook takes doesn't work anymore because I have I have this move. Uh, if queen g5, I have something like this, king h8, and it's not not so clear. I'm down a piece though, so it probably is very clear. I mean, I was just hoping that because I'm not mated, <laughs> it's okay. You know, I mean, I don't have to resign in a blitz game, but his discovery is also. So wait, let me think. I'm probably losing. Oh wait, wait, this position? Oh, I can make checks first. Okay, so I can go like queen, queen here, and then queen f4, I guess. Oh no, then rook g7. I mean, I'm losing, but it's not the end of the world. It's just as annoying the whole stupid position. So I'm just losing the whole game. <laughs> uh, again, you know, I'm not like. That's the problem with those lines. You just you just get smashed. Um, and, and they're 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 so rare that I I just don't study on them anymore. So let me just look what I should have done. I mean, I know they're generally like good for black, but you have to be careful. G three. I mean, I thought about G three. Just keep things closed. I figured he would do this, and then I didn't know how to proceed. Queen a5, alright. Whatever. I'm so annoyed because I'm playing so good lately. And this, I didn't really feel like... I gotta learn new openings. No, I don't. I just have to keep playing and hope this doesn't happen too often. I mean, I could have played better, but it's just—it's just really, really, really hard in blitz, like a position like this, if you're not like super prepared. Um, even what I did was okay, I guess. The engine, oh yeah, the engine—you can see it. A queen c8, rook b3. I had to play it immediately. And then f5. I thought about these lines, but I was like worried about. I guess I should have just done it. I was more worried when my queen was on d8 that he would do like you know some kind of rook here and bishop h6 idea. But yeah, I could have just done this, and then it's like it's a playable position, and then I can win because his attack is kind of fizzled out now. Damn, when I saw these ideas too, because that was my dream, just to get any position where I'm not going to get checkmated. I don't care if I'm worse. Dragon's stupid opening. <laughs> I mean, you know, usually I have it down in these these variations where I don't get checkmated, um, but this is the one. This is the one exception when they go h4 and they start sacrificing everything. I know objectively it's not great, but there's so many different ways they can do it, and in a blitz game, you're just defending the whole time. Um, it's just hard to defend. You miss one thing, you just lose. And the moves are really easy for White to play. Like the guy doesn't have to be a genius to find every move he played. They're all they're all just easy moves. I don't know. One day, if I'm not lazy, I'll learn a new opening. It pisses me off. I have to play again, though. Thanks for watching. See ya.